if you want to manifest a specific person to treat you differently, that's easy. Hey guys, I'm Jasmine with Manifest Fast with Jasmine. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe, press the bell button, click all to receive all notifications because I'm coming out with three videos a week for you guys still. All about pretty much how to get your specific person is a lot of what I teach in manifesting, but I do teach in accordance with manifestational laws and this video is going to be one that I get a lot of questions about how to change the way your specific person acts towards you. This is probably something that you're all after and it's not that hard, but it's a little bit counterintuitive. So pay some extra attention and make sure that you watch all the way till the end because I'm gonna go through all the what not to do's and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you what to do. First, I just wanna tell you guys, if you're at home, if you're a little bit bored or if you feel like you need some extra support in your manifesting game, Join my group, all right? Especially if you guys have questions. I get so many questions on YouTube. Bring your questions to the group where I have a live Q&A every week. I have exclusive content. It's a support group, you know? Like, we have all kinds of, oh my gosh, there's success stories in there. We're supporting each other. We're helping each other, affirmations. It's just fun. It's a manifesting community. So don't do this alone. Make sure that you're joining the group and asking your questions in there. Also, if you feel like you're watching my videos, but you would like to streamline a little bit more and just get it done faster and you just want things to move a little bit quicker, take my course, Seven Steps to Consistent Instant Manifestation. It's the end all be all, in my opinion. It's just everything that I can't put on YouTube and it's in a way that I can't put it on YouTube. So anyways, I recommend that. I also do have coaching coming up for now. All right, so number one is do not try to make them change. If you want your specific person to act differently towards you, I know it's this really weird paradox thing, but you have to act like you are actually not trying to push them into changing and like you don't need them to change at all because when you start pushing for change, then they start resisting your push for change. That's manifestationally speaking as well, that this is like just manifestational textbook, is when you're, first of all, trying to get someone to change or something to change, you're saying it's not done and therefore it can't be done. When you're feeling like, what do I need to do to make this thing happen? You're not knowing that it's already done. You know what I mean? So like, don't try to make them change. What would it be like if I was not trying to make them change? Okay not trying to make them change. Now, it doesn't mean that you cannot take action and like separate yourself in the relationship. Like for instance, if this guy likes to beat you or whatever, you don't try to make them stop. You just remove yourself from the situation. You say, oh, you know what? You like to do that? Okay, do that over there with someone else. You can go ahead, find somebody else who likes that. Great, somebody's gonna love that. I don't, so I'm just gonna do go over here and you go over there. You know what I mean? But you're not trying to make them change. Number two, do not act resistant towards them. This is a little bit different because I could not be trying to make someone change. I could also kind of be doing like a passive aggressive type move where I'm like trying to kind of get them to change without them knowing that I'm trying to get them to change or something underneath there in myself is still like trying to psychologically finagle them and manipulate them. No, that's not what we're doing. We're not psychologically finagling or being underhanded or sly or anything like that. Actually, in actuality, in truth, there should genuinely be no acts of resistance, inner or outer, towards them. So you don't really want any tension, you don't really want any ultimatums. So if, let's say that you're in a situation where, like I said earlier, where the person is just kind of like, let's say they just like hitting you. It's like, well, you know, I understand that you like that and somebody is surely going to, there are people out there who just love that. I'm just not that person. I don't judge it, but you know, I'm just not that person. I don't want that. You're not gonna resist their behavior Again, you're just going to make sure that that behavior is no longer happening with you. You know what I mean? And I mean, that's just like a really dumb example. For instance, there's other ways that you could do this. If you want to take it to the next level with them and they don't want to, if you start kind of acting in a way that is going to let them know that you're upset about it, you're going to blow your cover. And you're not trying to, here's the thing. You can't fake out the universe. You can't pretend that you don't 
want something that you do want. You can't pretend that you're aggravated when you're not. You actually have to make genuine changes within, live in the end, pick up new skill sets that help you deal with your state of being, manifest new states of being and new states of emotion so that you're not actually hiding things underneath. That's what a lot of people start doing. They're like, I'm hiding the way that I really feel and I'm trying to act like I'm doing this manifesting thing. But if it's not real, you're not fooling anybody. The third thing is don't act like you're silently punishing them. And all of these might sound kind of similar, but they really all need to be stated because there are so many different ways that people try to finagle themselves when they want to manifest what they want, you know? And I speak to people all the time that it's like, oh yeah, I feel like this. And then, but no, 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 no. You really actually feel this other way. So you gotta be really honest with yourself. You know, am I trying to push? Am I trying to resist? Like, do I, how, what do I actually feel about this? You actually have to come into peace and acceptance about this. And that's what's hard about manifestation for people is, you know, we know exactly what to do. We don't exactly always know how to do it. So that's something that I really try to teach a lot of, you know, on my channel and in, in my course, and especially, you know, in coaching makes it so much easier because I will just call your ass out in, co in coaching and you won't be able to fake with me, you know, so then it helps you really align. I try to call out bad behavior as much as possible not because for any other reason besides that, that's what allows you to change that behavior. So do that with yourself, you know, call yourself out and whatever it is that you need to do to feel at peace and to feel better and to genuinely have like a different viewpoint and a different stance on the situation, that's what you need to do. So like for instance, if you were to pick up the belief that, hey, all of my desires are being fulfilled, everything's already perfect, and it's all is well, it's all coming to me. Like, I'm getting what I want, it's all coming to me, and it doesn't matter what this person is doing. You would be able to do everything that I just said. That's just a change in your beliefs. You know, so I do have a playlist on changing your beliefs that you can look at. I've got a couple playlists. I'll, I'll point you guys to a playlist at the end of the video because I know that repetition on this stuff is really helpful. The things that I want you to do, here's where we're at. So if you want to manifest a specific person to treat you differently, you want to make sure that you are acting content and satisfied and fulfilled and you will find that person so much easier to deal with and they will be so much more willing just to do whatever it is that you wanted them to do and you might not even have to let them know what that is at all. You probably don't, you know? It's like when you're not giving anybody, or the universe, when you're not giving the universe anything to push against, the universe is not gonna push against you and people are the same, you know? So I'm content, I'm fulfilled, I'm satisfied. Practicing contentment, practicing fulfillment, practicing satisfaction, that is gonna bring those things to you with a vengeance. That's what I want you to practice, the states of satisfaction, fulfillment, contentment, I'm good. Like that's really where you need to be in order to apply this video. So I got lots of videos to help you guys do that. Hey, if you're still watching this video, that means that you liked it. So make sure that you click that like button, press the subscribe button, hit the bell button, and click all to receive all notifications because I got three videos a week coming out for you guys. And don't be shy. Look, if you still have questions after watching this video, make sure that you join my group. Join for the live Q&A. It's a membership group only, so it's I got very tight-knit community happening in there. Um, there are very specific things happening. It's for support, it's for affirmations, it's for success stories, and exclusive content. Make sure that you stop by if you feel like you want that question answered or that extra support. Also, seven steps to consistent instant manifestation. Look, if you want to streamline your journey, that's what I recommend. Coaching, all those links are below. Here is a playlist that I highly recommend that you watch if you want to master the techniques that are in this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. That's easy.